What's up everybody, a Sparrow with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we had a bit of a strange episode, kind of. Is this... That was weird. Is that... That little uh, bend there, right there, kind of made it look like it was a dent. Um... So, yeah, in the last episode, we did a couple of different things. One, it seems they fixed the conveyor system. Um, because all of these, I just loaded in the game, I have not messed with anything, I haven't ground these down and replaced them. Um, but they are all green now. So I should be able to put that in the container, and then can get to the assembler, I can get to the grinders, uh, I can get to the connector. Okay, so I think we've actually fixed this at this point. Well, well, we didn't, but they fixed it at this point, which is cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, with that, it, now that I'm thinking about it, it was probably the conveyor system that was keeping my hydrogen from reforming, or respawning, refilling. I'll get to the right word eventually. Um, <laughs> uh, cause yeah, if you, if you recall, I wasn't getting any hydrogen from the meds, uh, the med bay. So that's probably what happened there as well. Um, we also went exploring for, uh, my other ship, my driller drone, uh, which did not really go all that well. And we also finished the top. Yeah, that was the big thing. Okay, I was I was like, we did something. We did something that was fairly important, and it was this. We we finished the top part of the of the hangar, and we started working on the hangar doors. I think. Um, let's see. Do I still have? I don't. Okay. I need to make sure I have the uranium on me when I go hunting for my ship again. Um, I want to also point out, since Space Engineers is one of my fairly most watched series, I figured this would be a good time to start mentioning this. Um, I've been watching a couple of streamers uh, that I tend to, well, I tend to watch. Um, uh, lately, uh, and I notice one thing that they do a lot is uh, interact with a lot of their chat and stuff, which it makes sense. It's streaming versus YouTubing, but I thought about, I think what I'm going to do a bit more of is I typically do this um, people are saying, or someone was saying, or this was said type of thing, and I think I want to try and be, I, I don't know how good I'll actually be at maintaining it, but I want to try to kind of do a bit better at actually keeping the names accurate and stuff. Um, so for example, uh, and by the way, I, if I am actually doing shoutouts and, and using char uh, characters, using people's usernames from their YouTube accounts and stuff, if I get it wrong, Please don't take it personally. I mean, if you've seen my Space Engineers Inspiration series, you know how I, I wing pronunciations if I don't know how to pronounce something, and it may be right, it may not be right. So, um, one was Jay Brewer, I think, that mentioned that they patched the, um, these guys. Actually, I'm not really sure why this is here, unless this landed at the end of the last episode, maybe? I don't, I don't know. Um, I think it did. I think it landed at the end of the last episode. Anyways, that they had, they had patched the, um, the treasure pods or whatever they're called to where they don't fall as often because, uh, last couple episodes, they've been dropping like hotcakes. I mean, it's one of those, like one would land a few minutes later, another one would spawn. But the caveat to that is I guess they did improve um, the chance of them giving you skins and things. So it's kind of, uh, they don't happen as often, but when they do... Is there anything here? There's nothing here. This must have been one of those that fell through the ground. Okay. Um, how... Unknown signal. Okay, let's get rid of you. Um, one thing I want to try to... Um, by the way, another one was... Hmm, I don't think I wrote that one down. Dagnabbit. 
<laughs> well, that didn't work out too well. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, one of the things was, again, I forgot to, I forgot to write down who it was, my bad. Um, but there was a suggestion to use SE Toolbox to find my ship. That was a very good idea. The only problem with that is I have not been able to find a way to do like an F3 like in Minecraft where you see your own coordinates. So it gave me the coordinates and it gave me my own. I just would have to figure them out. And I think I may have run across a little bit of a different solution. But, but I'm glad I did that though because when I was in SE Toolbox, I found a lot of clutter. There was a lot of floating objects and ore, or uh, scrap from these crashes, things that there was actually the those pods that we were losing down underground that they would, they would fall and then disappear. They were actually still in the world file. And so if that kept going, it could have bloated the world file and stuff. So that was a good idea. I really, really wish I had taken note of who that was. Hold on just a minute. Okay, so it was Chozo SR388, I think. Maybe. Um, I mean, and that's the person, I just don't know if that's the way you're supposed to say that. Um, so, yeah. That was a cool suggestion, and like I said, it didn't really help per se. It did, but it didn't, in that I, I, I wish there was a better way in-game to pull up your coordinates. I have not found a way to do that. There may be one. Um, let me just point that out, that there may be one, but like other than making a new GPS from my current position and doing the math and everything, there's no like active, I don't, I don't think there's an active way, um, to actually see where I am, but it did get me thinking. And so what I ended up doing, uh, was I went into the admin panel here and there's an entity list if I can actually scroll down far enough to click it, where we have our driller drone. Now there's a couple things, you can control it or you can teleport here. I don't really want to do either of those at the moment, um, mainly because, wait, get back into controlled character or cockpit. That might work. Teleport you to the spectator camera. I don't want to do that one because as you can see, we're like underground and I'm pretty sure that would just kill my character. Now I can move it here and then maybe try something like that. But uh, the other way is we can see that the deposits are this way and then the power station is over there. So it's a little to the left of those and Actually, it's not that way. That's the other direction, but I can keep the spectator mode here and I should be able to kind of fly off over this. I think it's over this mountain. I think I went... Oh, that was the other thing. Uh, Duke00x, I think I got that right, said I went too far this way and it was over to my right. So that confirms that um, in terms of when we look in the spectator camera, that's kind of the same vibe that I'm picking up. So that is an accurate assessment. Um, so we should be able to find it if we keep those just a little to our right. I should probably have my... wait, do I not have my... I do have my lights on. It's just dark, I guess. Um, and then we can use the spectator camera to kind of try and see. I don't see myself, which is a little concerning. Uh, maybe we're over another ridge that it can't see yet? Possibly? Maybe? Oh, wait a minute. I also need to compare... Was it 2.89? I think, away. So we should be kind of close. Actually, we're too far now. Okay. I should be around here somewhere. Or like overhead or something. I shouldn't be too far from where I'm at. Hmm. Curious. Okay, so I did find that a little bit useful. When we got in the ballpark area, I went ahead and set a new waypoint as to where I am currently. 
right there. And then with the help of the spectator camera, uh, it looks like I'm just a little bit over. So I should be heading this way. Somewhere around. It shouldn't be this. Ladies and gentlemen, just take note. Um, always make sure you have enough power for a antenna. Because... <laughs> Because <laughs> uh, it's not fun losing your ship. Oh, there it is. Nope, that's a bush. I do that every freaking time. Without fail. Every time. I'm going to end up putting a beacon all the way around. All the way around the ship. More than likely. Alright, where did that go? There's one. There's three! What the? Where is this thing? All right, all right, so it's closer to two. Actually, how close is it to two? It is 350 meters from two, and I am 400 and something. Seriously, where? That wasn't a bush. It actually was the ship. Dag Nabbit. The one time I thought it was a bush. Oh, and that's cool. Um... I came out here and then forgot to actually bring the components to build a reactor, even though I brought what I needed for the uranium. I mean, yeah, that makes sense, right? Don't worry, I'm actually going to leave a beacon here just for later. Okay, so this should be driller drone. And we can get rid of all these. Okay, so at least now it shouldn't be that hard to find. Oi. All right, so, um, woo. I was looking at my tablet and almost ran into stuff. Uh, so, a couple of other notes I wanted to bring up is the conveyor system seems to be fixed, uh, but it was, I don't know what was causing it because I had one person, Joe Keith, said their conveyors were fine, and then I had a Peter Talons that were saying they also had the glitch, so I'm not sure what was causing that, but it seems to be kind of a moot point at this point, because um, I was going to talk about that a little bit more, hence why I brought up those comments and things, but it seems like it's fixed now, so I guess it's not really that important to go over. I'm a little concerned about this solar panels adjustment here. Um, let's see, let's see, how do we fix this? I guess I should just stop it for a moment, for a little bit, like, can I just put a, um, I don't want to adjust the velocity really because I have it set where I want it, um, I could just engage the safety lock. Safety lock override. Oh. Hmm. 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 Um, I guess we'll just uh, put the actual speed in the, in the custom field. Can we do that? Custom data. And then for now, we'll just set it to nothing and let it sit there for a minute until it gets more... I don't know if I did that just randomly and I thought it was aligned and it wasn't or not, but it's been kind of bugging me a little bit. Um, Alright, so everything seems to be working better. We do have our driller drone set correctly now. I do need to get the components for the reactor so that I can build one down there and let it charge. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back over here. One thing I don't quite get is why these thrusters are acting like they're on when they're not. They're not even spinning. So I'm not really sure what that's about. I, I even went through each one of them and made sure they were all off, but they still are giving off the, uh, the thruster effect, which is kind of weird. So I have the um, small reactor here, which is currently outputting. We're at 
so that's cool. Um, in terms of the battery, it's storing up power, which is good. I can't quite see exactly how it's doing. Doesn't look like it has anything. So it's almost dead. Um, so, yeah, it's going to take it a minute to actually recharge. I think everything else is off. The gyroscope is not off, it doesn't look like. Um, pretty much I want to get anything that's consuming power, essentially. Um, I thought I had everything off, but apparently maybe not. Gyroscope will take that off. Drills off. Connector will turn off. Uh, these cameras, I didn't even think about them. Oh, they're all off, so that's fine. Never mind. The battery obviously needs to be on or else it won't charge, and the antennas... Okay, so we're good. We're good at this point. It was just the gyroscope that was on. So, yeah, between the waypoint and the, the reactor charging up the battery, we should be able to get it back to the base relatively soon, probably in the next episode, but we haven't really needed it per se right away. Um... But I definitely might have to rebuild that, or at least restructure it, because um, the power usage and stuff... Now, granted you, I did lose a battery, which when I, you know, when I crashed and stuff, I did lose a battery, so that, that can hurt it. Um, and I did, I did turn this guy back on, just so it wouldn't get completely out of sync. I didn't know how long, um, I didn't know how long that was going to take. Now, in theory, whoa, I just flew through the piston, that was weird. Alright, so it's pretty close. In theory, I could actually bring this back. You know what? Let's try that, actually. Um, where is it? Advanced rotor, advanced rotor, advanced rotor. Here we go. So let's drag you, stop it. Let's drag you here and set this to increase velocity. And then we'll do this one as decrease velocity. How's that? So what I'm gonna do, uh, I think, is decrease it, right, to bring it back this way a wee bit, because I want it kind of facing the steel forge at the moment. So let's try decrease. Whoa. Um. Okay. That was not what I meant. I meant increase and decrease like a little bit. Not that much. Um, how do I, it doesn't really let me adjust how much I'm increasing and decreasing, does it? Let's just try and kind of wiggle it a little bit. How's that? Is that better? By the time I get this lined up, it'll be the the sun will have moved. Well, let's give it one more. Let's see how that looks. I think that's pretty good. Nah, eh, let's pop it one more time. Let's give it a little bit more. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. So at this point, that way we don't have to. Uh, worry about it as much. We'll go in and set the velocity to our speed that we had set up before. And with any luck, um, hopefully, how do I clear this? I forget. Remove. There we go. Uh, with any luck, hopefully it will maintain that posture. And I think that'll be a bit more... I think that's a bit better. Yeah, it's slightly off, but it's a lot its a lot more aligned than it was before, which is really what I was going for, so that's good. Um, Alright, so, next things. The, I think the thing that I want to work on next, I'm not sure exactly how it works, but I might want to try this uh, drill thingy my bobber. Uh, this guy, the drill platform. It doesn't require, ooh, it does require a lot of steel plates, but lucky for us, that's not really a big deal. Everything else I think we can get, ooh, it looks cool though. 
looks really cool. Um, all right, so port-wise, why can I not? I can't uh, get this to zoom in and out. I wanted to get it a little further away from me. So it looks like we have, and this is a mod, by the way. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was fairly obvious, but really cool work on the model. Actually, the design is pretty sweet. Um, very, very like it fits the world, but it's very original in terms of. Uh, it doesn't look like any of the other blocks. So we have what looks to be two um, efficiency modules, or, well, whatever module, module upgrade slots on each leg, and then a conveyor port. So that's cool. I don't know if we really need to attach it like this to something, or what. Um, so what I'm going to do, actually, is turn on our steel forge for a second. Um, just to give us some extra, um, some extra steel plates, because this, what did I say this was? 1100, so we actually have uh, what we need for, for that, but what I'm actually looking for is a few extra ones to do some building, so that I can, um, uh, actually, you know what, let's make sure we leave 1100 of these. There we go. And now these are for us to use. Um, so what I'm gonna do... I want it fairly close to the production side of things. So let's try and take this out... Let's see, that, that's about the middle, isn't it? Um, let's go out about here. And what I'm thinking is for now, just kind of a testing situation is we'll s oh come on don't tell me the anchor points in the corner dag nabbit all right well then i've got to trick this a little bit so i need to go over and down i hate that when they do stuff like that i say they it's not it's not it's a mod it's not the game developer but um actually could i raise this no, I don't want to do it that way. Um, what I'm going to do is this, I think. Now, hopefully, if I break this, it won't make it fall apart. Um, and what I'm going to do is we're going to, for now, attach to like this. And what that's going to do is hold it in place, because I actually want to get rid... Uh, actually, I might do this instead. Because what I actually want to do is get rid of these center ones. Because they're going to end up being conveyors. Now, once the conveyors are in place, I won't need to... I won't need to worry about that. Because the conveyors will connect here. I'll put catwalks over the edge. And then we can remove these entirely and just leave a catwalk out here that runs around or whatever. If we, if we want to do all that. Oh, right. Ah. Uh. I had all the 1100 in this storage container over here. I just used all of my plate ones. Oh well. Guess it comes out in the wash anyway. Alright. So let's try this. And then I need to go get the motors. Was it computers? Motors, large steel tubes. That's not too bad. Now I don't know what the power constraints will be for this. I imagine quite a bit would be my would be my guess. Is this the same on both sides? It is, okay. Um, and the other thing that I need is interior plates, motors, small seal tubes, construction components. Okay, so uh, I'm going to turn this back on. Well, actually, hold on. I might not. I might not need to. Because if I'm not actually using these. I don't really need all these steel plates then for that. I could break them back down into either construction components or let's see 20, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 and I have 50 so I need 50 more for these plus interior plates. I don't know how much of that I actually have already. Can I get to that from here? No. I can get to it from here though. Okay, so let's do 
50 of those, and then let's go check for our interior plates and stuff. Okay, so I may have enough, I may not, I'm not entirely positive. Um, so let's do this here, this here, this here, this here, and that there. Now the one issue that I just realized I didn't do was I didn't account for this block not being a block. Oops, I also didn't account for my inventory either. Okay, so first things first, let's... Oh, I didn't have any large steel tubes. Okay. On me. Or computers, for that matter. So let's get some of this out of my inventory real quick. And I've got the um, assembler making some more stuff because I figured I would run out of steel tubes, which I just did. Um, the other thing is I need to break this guy down and make it a conveyor? Probably. Which I need small steel tubes for. And then let's place another one here. And I need a few more construction components. Okay, so we should have... Oh wait, no, I need more... Okay. Uh, let's just throw these in here. And maybe let's throw like 30 of these. And we'll switch this to, to disassemble. We'll see if we can do that just to get some more... What do I actually need? Steel tubes there. I need 11 construction components and then it's just steel tubes and it looks to be about... 8... 20... 20 or 30 I think if I did my math right who knows nope stop that um let's try that it looks like we'll have enough sweet okay so that's in place and let's see if I did my math right nice Okay, and that's not actually functional because it doesn't have the, um, yeah, doesn't have the, the components left that I need. It, yeah, I know what I'm saying. Okay, so I think I have everything that I need now. Let's, let's try this out. Oh, dagnabbit, I'm, I was off of one? Really? One large steel tube. That's all I needed. Well, crap. I'm curious to see how this works, though. I'm, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, it's essentially going to gather gravel, I think? If I remember how it works? Alright, let's just do one thing, then. We don't need any more of those. I'm keeping the, um, interior... Oh, I need small steel tubes for that and construction component. Boo. All right. Well, that sucks. I didn't know that. Okay, so I need to make some more steel tubes then. I like the catwalk looks, but I got to admit, they are actually fairly expensive for what they're really doing kind of thing. Like, for just being a catwalk. Um, let's just see if it won't be able to do that, but that's fine. Um, alright, so now, there we go. Alright, now I don't know power-wise what this is going to draw. Um, drill platform. Max required input is 500 re required input. Wait, what? Max required and required. What's the diff? Um, so it requires 220. How is our, how's our batteries looking? Are we still charging? We're still charging a little bit, and... Wait. No, we're not. Oh, that's current input. My bad. So, stored power is still going up. The current input, I'm get, I'm wondering if that is going down from the sun, or if that's going down because that drilling platform is drawing more. Let's find out. 
Wait, what was that? I turned it off. That was weird. Did anybody else notice that? It was like the assembler turned on when I turned that off. Oh, wait a minute. Does that draw the power? Required input. I think it is. I think it's pulling from the power to where this is operating now. Oh! And what about the refinery? So if I turn... If I turn the refinery off... The assembler just finished, so that won't be a good judge. But if I turn that off, then I do the driller. Where'd it go? Okay, now's, now how's the battery doing? It's still getting pulled down, but that's okay, I guess. Um, drill platform. Alright, so we have blueprints. Okay, so essentially... Alright, okay, I'm starting... Oh, wow, this is actually making a ton. Almost literally. So, if I turn that off... Where's the inventory for it? Drill, 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 this is not... <laughs> this is not alphabetical. Drill platform. Any item accepted by the drill platform can hold up to a million liters. It's at 41,000. I have 112,000 gravel. That seems a lot for the short amount of time that I had that on. Um, here, let's add 62 to it, because why not? I don't know. I mean, I guess I had 62,000 gravel from somewhere. Oh, it was the stone. Okay, so the stone was making gravel. Alright. So, one gold is 500. One iron is 50. A platinum is almost... It's basically 9,000. Um, 100 iron is 5,000. Okay. So... I guess what I'm tr what I need to figure out is like we have 2000 silicon here. So what does silicon run me? One silicon is 50. Um let's turn do I have this drill platform off? I do. Okay. So before we mess let's just mess with some stuff. So 2000 Oh, that's 200. So 2000 would be 99,000 gravel. That makes sense. Okay, so we almost have 200,000 here, so we could actually do that. That seems really, really fast. Like, what's the thing? Oh, wow. Five million. Okay, maybe, maybe it's, I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know if that's, that seems kind of balanced in terms of the amounts you're using. Like, we have... All right, here's here's another thing. We have the assembler off right now, so let's let's play around with this a little bit. Um, if I wanted to make a uh, hundred of, or yeah, like a hundred of these, that's only 166 iron. That's not, maybe not a good test. So a hundred plates is 700 iron. Okay. And if I did, oh wait, no. Yeah, that's a hundred iron, right? Yeah. So if I did seven of those, it would cost me thirty-four thousand, which did not take me very long to make these. So I'm I'm just trying to kind of balance out or or figure out if that's more broken or less broken than the steel forge because the steel forge is only giving us iron, so it's a little more balanced to me because you're not getting anything that you can't. Um, th that, like, is important. It's just raw building steel material. Um, like, for example, these thruster components, they need gold, they need platinum, they need cobalt. You know, it kind of makes you go look for stuff. This keeps you from having to go look for things, but I'm trying to make sure that it's actually kind of balanced in that it's not just crazy, stupid, easy to get. Like, what would a hundred platinum be? Is almost a million... Uh, my problem with that is I didn't have this on for very long. And I would need... 
I only need 0.13 for that. I wouldn't need 100 platinum. So, one is like nine. One of these is 5,000. 100 would be 500,000. Hmm. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um... Because I'm not sure. I like the idea. I really like the idea that it's it's making a use for gravel and stuff like that. But I'm wondering if the amount of gravel you get that quickly may or may not be a little bit unbalanced. Because I don't I don't really want to like if I wanted to do everything is free and be creative. I would have just done a creative world, but I've mentioned before that what I'm really going for is something that balances uh, the time I have to spend on doing videos and also the amount of stuff that we can actually get done in each episode kind of thing. Um, so that's really what I'm going for with this in trying to do it this way is something that I don't have to go run around and grind and do a bunch of things for, but can still get me the resources that I need to progress. Oh, I don't want to do that. Um, I literally almost did that just now. That's what happens when you're trying to talk and do all at one time. That's better. Alright, cool. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically what I'm getting at. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Because now, now some may address it with power. That the power may be an issue. Mm, that could be a thing, I suppose. Um, let's do... Let's actually test this out real quick. Because um, we also could run into production time as well. So let's do... That's a thousand steel plates. And then we'll do... Um, okay, now this is another interesting thing too. That requires seven iron. So if we did a thousand plates, we'd need seven thousand of... Uh, so I need 70 of these. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Um, right? I did my math right there, right? I think so. So that would still be a lot. Let's start it up and see what happens. Let's turn the assembler... Turn that on and the assembler on. Now, the other thing I'd like to find out is why this isn't running. Oh, because it's in... Okay, hold on. It's still getting... I'm confused. When I turned the drill platform on, it started, like, getting more gravel, not making more of the... Oh, it says not enough power. Huh. So perhaps I need more power. Hmm. Let's try one of these. Any of this gonna work? Not enough power. Interesting. Maybe I do need the 500 max required thing then. Alright, so anyways, we're running a little bit long on time for this episode, so we're gonna wrap things up here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and if you know about this mod, um, then let me know... Um, you know, what you think about it and all this kind of stuff. I do like the premise. The concept of it is really, really cool. And I do like the design and stuff of it. I think that's really neat. Um, I just need to figure out if it's going to end up being kind of the, the best of both worlds type of thing. Or if it's actually going to make it a little too much like a creative world. So let me, let me know what you guys think in the comments. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. And I will see you all next time. Peace.